That way you get all the air you need and you need to use that. You can talk on that air for miles and miles of time. So I fill up now. And this way you can talk for a while and you can understand. You could be able to use what you need to do without taking a lot of breath. When you have to take a lot of breath, then you have to it interrupts the phrase. And then think about how what your phrasing is. You know what I'm saying? So I really, really, really want you to be mindful. Be mindful and cognizant of your breathing. Because if you are, you will go a long way in doing what you want to do. Okay, I'm just adding on uh, something else for those of you um, that have not been connected with us. The one thing I am going to um, ask you to do is join in. Um, I have a um, uh, Facebook, not Facebook, a YouTube page um, that I do a lot of um, voice lessons on. Um, recently, I have not uploaded. I have them, but I have not uploaded uh, new ones because I need to edit. Um, and I'm not really good at that. I know younger ones are. So you inbox me on how to edit this stuff. Um, I need to edit some of the videos um, of a few of my students so I can be able to just give you the meat and potatoes of the actual lesson. Because when you're dealing with children, it is a proper way to deal with children. Everybody is not a one and done. You can't deal with all of them the same. Some of them have problems in hearing and understanding pitch and being able to find their pitch. A lot of them are rushing through and, you know, they're trying to get through the song and they're not with the beat and the melody of the song. They're listening to their their karaoke's, but they, because they know the song, they don't necessarily think that, uh, oh, that's what I need in order for me to get there. I really want them to, how you doing Fallon? I really, really want them to understand that you have to slow down. Get your metronome. Use your telephone. You have so many apps on that telephone. And another thing, if you're trying to find out if you're singing on pitch or not, there are apps on there. And, may, and maybe um, uh, later, because I just put the app uh, um the tuner on my telephone for the instrumentalist where you can sing and it'll tell you what pitch you're on. But there is an app on the phone and I got to find it again, a singer's app where they'll give you something to sing. And while you're singing there, they will uh, uh, then be, let you know how far you are off or did you do well with it? And it's something you need to practice. You need to practice. OK, when you're doing auditions, because I, I, I invited various communities, uh, when you are doing auditions um, for uh, various shows, it depends on what you're doing and depends on the style. Um, today, I'm going to go to a, a, a opera um, performance by Miss Monica. Um, and when you're doing classical music versus Broadway music versus Gospel music versus jazz music. That's four different techniques. Can't use all the same for everything. And choral singing uh, pretty much go on the same line as classical. Okay. Yes, you have some things that are basic where, you know, you do your breathing, you do your sounds. But it depends on what it is and what techniques you need at that time. By the way, if you have questions, I want you to type them in. That's why I said set, set the camera up this way. Type your questions in because I want to be able to help you to get to your um, to get to where you want to be and be able to um, make that work for you. Okay. So now, uh, Miss Fallon, uh, what I'm going to uh, let me see if I can bring you on. And we do like a little mini lesson really quick. You think you can do that? All right. Let me see. I'm not really sure how to how to do the little thing. Do you see a button that invites you on to the um, onto the live? Fallon. All right. I can't seem to get you in. 
you know you can do it. Um, but I, I don't see that button where I can invite you in um, so you can be able to actually join me um, live like they would always do. Because if I do, I will definitely add you in there. Yeah, I don't see it either. That's the one thing I have a hard time with with the um um with with this on this computer. So they're gonna have to give me a whole little quiz on how to be able to do some of these things because some of them will allow me to, to invite people in and others it does not allow me to invite, invite people in. So I wanted to uh, be able to try to do that at this time, but that's okay. Uh, another thing is I really want you to, um, you, I want you to do some things. How you doing, Christian? I want you to do some things with me now and let's see if we can get you um, going. Okay. So I want you to do the breathing. And by the way, I did not warm up my voice this morning. So bring my kids in, Miss Christian. Ha. So I want you guys to, um, we're going to warm up voices together. Is that okay? So let's try it again. Fill up. Hands on your belly. Matter of fact, let me have you do this. Put one hand on your belly. Put one hand on your back. So you can feel the expansion. And I want you to breathe in slowly. Blow out on S. Rule number one, make sure your posture is nice and tall. Nice and tall. Make sure your shoulders are down. Make sure you're standing stagnant. If you're standing, if you're sitting, I'm sitting. So make sure that if you're sitting, make sure everything is there in alignment. Because when you are squeezing the diaphragm, you're having a hard time being able to do what you need to get done. So fill that up again. All right. And blow out on us. Very good. Next thing I want you to do is those yawn sounds. The yawn sounds early in the morning. Everybody in the whole wide world has a low voice in the morning. And so the voice has to wake up. So before doing this lesson with you guys, I had to get up early because I knew that I was doing a lesson a day and I wanted to make sure that you had the opportunity of being able to um, uh, uh, be with me for the lesson so you can benefit from it. I can't benefit from you waking up early in the morning and then I'm not ready to give you what you need. I want you to give me the yawn sounds. What do I mean by yawn sounds? Those vocal folds are two folds that's here. And when you talk, the air strikes the vocal folds and then they flutter. They flutter. Okay? So when the air goes, ah, ah, and different pitches, you will see like a gap and it flutters. You can see from up top to the bottom of where your voice pitches are going there. All right. When you talk up here, which is a higher pitch, you're off of the vocal folds and it's not so aggressive. So sometimes when you hear people, they be like, oh, my goodness, they're just such an actor. Yeah, they very well may very be, a, be an actor, but they're they're doing some things for a reason. So uh, I really want you to be mindful of how you're talking and practice it sometime. OK, but let's go into those yawn sounds. Fill it up. Oh. Morning, Sammy. Fill up again. And bring up the sound a little more. Oh. You will find that it will wake up your voice. You do not have to be a singer in order to do this. This is waking up your voice, filling up those vocal folds, and getting things in alignment. 
All right, I want you to try it one more time, please. Notice that I am going higher and higher and higher. I don't want to be too loud. I understand I got neighbors and I understand I have roommates here in New York. You, you, you need some roommates. So um, I, I'm really trying to get in alignment. Fill it up. Open your mouth and relax. Very good. Now, if you listen, I'm able to be up here and I can feel it. Please text in, I mean, write in or type in to me if you actually feel what I'm talking about at this time. Let me know. I want to help you, so I got to see where you are. Okay? Oh, awesome. Okay? All right, so now. And keeping it going. Now, I want you to do some mouth exercises to relax the jawline. So, you see this? You remember the kids, they go, boop, 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 little ones. They were born making the sounds, and you could train a child from birth all the way up what to do with the voice. Now, they may not be able to match pitches, but if you actually listen to them, a child, as they grow, have a small range, and the range gets bigger and bigger and bigger. I have one niece. I don't know if you guys ever seen that video I have. It's called a Mommy and Me video. Um, so that one niece, she was one at the time. She's eight now. And as she was uh, going through, I used to go, <laughs> at six months, she said, she finally was able to do it. She kept trying to do it at at, at uh, zero to three. Zero to three. She kept going. Pff, pff, pff. And then before you know it, by the time she got six months old, she's able to go. So now I want you to take that. All right. Try it again. I want you to fill it up. And take your time and blow with it. And bring it back down. Okay? That's where we're going. I want you to do it one more time with me, please. And bring it back down. Now, that's relaxing the jawline. Yes, open your mouth, relax your jawline. Guys, this is so important, especially when you're trying to do some things. Have you ever heard those people that talk really, really fast and you don't understand exactly what they're saying and they get really clear and articulate and they're going so fast and they use the commercials? Well, this is what they're doing to use and open and relax their mouths to get the artic your articulators going. You have to be able to do something in order to get to that dimension. You cannot get there without understanding what you're doing. Okay? So now, I want you to do that. Fill up the first one. And you notice that I keep going back to that. Now, I have children that always say, Miss Barbara, um, how can I possibly get that going and be able to sing like I need to sing, okay? When you're singing, um, let, let me do something simple. My country tis of thee. Please don't stop and go, no. <laughs> While your mouth is open, you catch that air. My country tis of thee. Sweet land of liberty of thee I sing. Now, that leads me to one more thing. I want to make sure you understand this concept first. The first one is, when you get through mastering, breathing in your air, coming through your mouth, when you're singing, open your mouth to catch the air and then be able to do it again. Okay? Next thing. 
not my country. Tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of the high seeing land where my father died, land of the pilgrims. Okay, so now you have what we call phrasing. What is phrasing? Phrasing is being able to sing a sentence and it sounds well. My country, tis of thee. Sweet land of liberty, of the I sing. Now, if you can go, sweet land of liberty, of the I sing. That way, the phrasing sounds even better. I want you to try this. Make sure you guys are sharing these videos because these are snippets and nuggets that you can use for a lifetime. And I want you to think about it. Record yourself. Record yourself so you can see what you're doing. Am I doing that? When I'm singing, am I being able to sing the music effectively and be able to get people to understand what it's like and what's happening? You know, you need to make sure you're understanding that because if you are and if you're doing that and you're singing in a phrasing, phrasing will help you to get what you need to do. My country is of the sweet. And I did that all in one breath. So let's see how much you can do on one breath. Let's see. I'm getting it in there because I'm preparing my air. My country, tis of the sweet land of liberty, of the I sing. Land where my fathers died, land. All right, so practice your phrasing. Look to see where you want to make that cutoff. And once you make that cutoff, then that way you can be able to get what you want and how you want it to do, how you want it to be. All right. Is that all right? So when you're able to do that, it will help you become more efficient and a heck of a lot better in how you're doing things and what you're doing. All right. I want to make sure you understand that because the more you do it, the better off you'll be. All right, guys. So that's that's one thing I want you to know. Another thing, um, I'm trying to pull up, pull my YouTube live on with this while we're doing this. Um, I hope that is any of this helping you. Please let me know. Hit the buttons below. One zero three four two four. Um, hit the hit. I mean, you know, put put it in the comments. Let me know if any of this is helping you. All right. So now, moving on. Now you know you're breathing. You understand phrasing. La 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 da 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 da. All right. Okay. And the next thing is um, once you are there, I, I just moved myself right out of this and it just went right back into it. Um, once you are there, I want you to go into. Um, Oh, make sure I, if I didn't catch talk to you about the other one was catch how you're opening when you're singing, sing with catching the air in. Um, let me get it. Give you a different song. Oh, say, can you see catch the air? By the dawn's early light, catch the air while your mouth is open. What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. Catch your air while your mouth is open. Okay? Now... Next concept I want to talk to you about is how you stop singing so quietly and be able to project and give your voice to the other side of the room. Okay, that's one thing I want to talk to you about. 
All right. Now, when you are doing that, and one thing you need to hear and make sure you understand, because I want to make sure you get it. If you don't get it, you're you're gonna miss it. All right. I want to make sure you understand how you're how you're getting that that voice over to the other side. Now, remember those air, that air. Think about the dog or even a cat. Matter of fact, I think all dog, all I don't, I don't know. I gotta sort of study the other animals, um, and and see how we, how that works in there. But I want you to think about your air. So when you're doing the puppy pant, well, puppy pant is like, <laughs> all right, that's a puppy pant. So when you're using that <laughs> sound, ha 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 ha. There you go. Your sound gets louder and louder and louder. Barbara, how do I apply that to talking? Do I go talking and ha, 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 while you're talking? You are doing it, but you're doing it more subtly. So right now, I am able to project my voice and go louder and louder and louder. Truth be told, I am using my diaphragmatic my diaphragm to be able to do it. So the air is getting louder and louder because I'm taking the breath in through my mouth and my stomach is pushing it out. There's an exercise that I use in the gym. Very, very effective exercise. Very effective exercise. I use this in the gym and if you sing with it in the gym, oh my gosh, it's going to help you 100%. It's that machine. Um, you know what? I'm going to ask my roommate um, once that one morning. Matter of fact, we might be going this morning. I'll, I'll make a little video um, to, to videotape me on what I'm saying. We've been working on crunches. So it's the machine you sit on and you put your legs underneath and your, your abs are going in and out and you're coming down here. So I want you to practice that. Practice saying ha while you're doing it. Ha! Again, what am I doing? I'm strengthening my diaphragm. I'm st- I'm strengthening that entire core so I can be able to do what I need to get done. Okay? I used to uh, teach a, a young lady that was um, um, going out for Miss America. And uh, I, I, I was helping her strengthen her core by as she was laying down singing. As she was laying down, she came up and she had to sing doing it. Doing it. Okay, so that is another technique to be able to help you. Last technique of the day, because I'm giving you all my good nuggets. You got to be able to uh, uh, respond back. Let me know what you're what's helping you. What's not helping you. If it's not helping you, I want to know this is this is for us to be able to help you get where you need to be. I want you to get there, but I can't get you there without you letting me know. Uh. If this is benefiting you or not. Okay. So we want to get you to to where you need to be. All right. Next thing. So let's talk. When you are doing. um, Wait a minute. I lost my train of thought. When you're talking. Or when you're singing. I want you to try this. Open your mouth. So people can get the sound out. Please don't try to sing so softly that you can't. Um, I was listening to someone. Someone just did a tribute to um, Kobe. Beautiful voice. I think it was Usher. Now, Usher, he was singing softly and his mouth was closed. But when he was time for the belt, he had to open his mouth to be able to get out where he wanted to go. So I want you to be very, hi, Miss Amanda. I want you to be very, very mindful of how you get that sound out. So sing something. And when you sing, get it out. Open it up so you can be able to get that sound out and throw the sound across the room. So you can be able to go, ha, ha, ha. How are you doing that? Filling up that diaphragm and throwing that voice. Uh That will 
give you the belt you are looking for. You want to be able to get the belt. If the children are singing, have them to do that. Here's another technique. If you go on my videos um, under uh, on YouTube, I got like four sets of videos on YouTube. So um, one of the videos uh, I have, I'm lying on the floor. This technique works, works every single time. Lie on the floor, put a book flat on your stomach. As a matter of fact, even on here, I had one of my roommates to come in and he demonstrated it for you. So if you have not seen all my videos here on um, Arts and CT, um, uh, Free Voice Lessons Online, I want you to do that. Take some time and look to see uh, the um, video so you can use the techniques. Techniques are there. Guys, listen, if you are looking and you want to do voice lessons, um, I do have a, um, and, and it's about to end. So you, if you have not signed up under Performing Arts Academy of Connecticut on my YouTube channel and not sent that um, email in that said, Barb, I want the free voice lesson, you will not get it. All right. Um, right now, we, we have a couple people that have come in and I want to make sure that they get that opportunity to um, uh, be able to have that lesson. And we, we're going to do a free Skype lesson with them. Um, and then we're going to upload that lesson uh, later. All right. And we will be able to work on your challenges. Choosing a voice teacher. When choosing a voice teacher, how do you know, how do I know if I'm getting a, a good voice teacher? Or how do I know if the teacher knows what they're saying? Or how do I know um, if they're going to benefit me? Now, um, over the years, now I've been doing this for 30 years. Over the years, uh, I've had some students and they've been with um, teachers and, and uh, the teacher got them to a certain point and they were they were good with what the teacher had given them. However, there were some points that that person needed to get to that that teacher really wasn't able to develop them in. It is okay to have more than one teacher. How many people go to school and have the same teacher every single year? In order for you to develop and be a well-rounded individual, I encourage you to have more than one teacher. Learn the concept that that one teacher is teaching you. Take it, hold it, digest it, transition to another teacher. I'll never forget Mary Whalen. She was with me seven years. And I said, Mary, you have now completed your sessions with me. And I am now transitioning you to another teacher. Why? I want to stay. No, no. You've learned what you needed to learn from me. She had gotten to a point where she was able to use the techniques. And she can tell you this herself. Uh, she was able to use the techniques that I had given her. And she was able to apply them. But then she needs to get to another level and learn something different. And so when she transitioned to the other teacher, she once again came back and said, hey, you're right. I did learn something even different and something else from this other teacher. You want to be a well-rounded individual. You want to learn so you can grow. You can't grow if with the same person for the last 15 years. Yes, they're good. Yes, they know what they're doing. But try somebody else. Well, Miss Barbara, how do I find somebody else? Well, if the person that taught you um, have been able to show you proper techniques, when that other person starts talking to you, you know what proper techniques is. Not only that, you should be able to look some things up Right in a in a book. How you doing, Miss Corrine? You should be able to look some things up and it aligns with what they've been saying. 
Okay, so if you're doing the bell contour or con, uh, uh, um, uh, contour, uh, or if you're learning different belting techniques, or if you're learning different breathing techniques, or uh, if you're using different moves to find placement, the frontal, the brightness, the resonators, some things are basic. You have to have those basic things in order to understand. Some people talk really about you. You have to bring it up to the front. It's as if you're pulling your face. Ah, ah. And then you yeah, have some people talk. Why you me here all the time? Girl, you so funny. Relax, relax, relax. Drop. All right? And then now people can understand what you're doing. I have one student, um, and she is grown. I think she's like 30 years now. And she still talking like this. But when she starts to sing, oh my goodness. You guys remember Michelle? Michelle has the same concept. She understands the concept when she starts to sing. But she never applied the concept when she tried to talk. Which is why I tell you that voice lessons are not just for singers. If you have someone that have a speech impediment, or who's struggling with um, speech, voice lessons are essential. I have had many people, therapists, go back to my students and say, listen, you are speaking so much clearer. What's going on? And the child says, oh, I'm taking voice lessons. And they're like, they're learning. They're, 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 what are they teaching you in lessons? And I go through and I keep a file on my students. So we could talk about where you are because when you have so many students, you want to know where your students are. Qualities of a good teacher. What your students are learning. What do they need to do in order to grow so they can advance, so they can be able to get more of what, you, what they're learning so they can be able to go farther. I'm going to do some of these voice lessons master classes live on Saturdays. Um, right now, I got to find a venue. And if you know of a venue, let me know um, so I can do uh, master classes so I can be able to help many of you get where you want to go. A lot of people aren't singers, so we might have to do uh, two different sessions. One for people who just want to learn how to talk well. And uh, uh, one for those who want to sing. And then another one for those who want to audition, finding that right song. And is this song effective for me? And why don't you um, uh, um, feel like this is the, not the right song? If you see somebody constantly sitting on their phone texting while you up there auditioning, that song is not moving them. If they don't ever raise their eyes up and look towards you, you know that's not quite the right song. OK, you want to get an eye catcher. You want something that grabs their attention. You don't want to be. Oh, my goodness. We have heard this same song. A hundred. Let it go. Please don't use. Let it go. Let it go. Maybe used to teach you how to let it go. But you need to let that song go because that's not effective. That's not going to be something that they want to hear again. Now, speechless, which is um, was that from a long uh, a Latin, a Latin. That's a that's a good song. Um, I know that uh, what's the child name? I just she just went. My mind. My, I'm trying to talk to y'all and remember my students at the same time. Olivia, <clears throat> Olivia wanted to use that song. There are different parts of that song I would use for an audition. If you catch and you start the whole song, you only got 16 bars to do. You. Oh my God, be like. You got to be able to catch them right at the very beginning. Get something, start them, get an eye catcher at the very beginning because they only going to give you like four, four, four beats in for you before they be like, okay, thank you very much. You got to be able to go. Also, find out what your range is. Find out what your range is so you can be able to go with them. Oh, okay. If you're using your head voice, your head voice is up here. So if you're singing, all right, know where you are. Know what you're doing. Know what you're trying to do. 
Understand what your goal is so you can accomplish that goal. When you're doing voice lessons, understand what the goal is. Ask the teacher, what's the goal? Your teacher could have you set up where you're, 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 they're still trying to uh, diagnose you. A voice teacher sort of sets up, especially when you're first coming to them. Um, it's like going and getting a... Um, uh, exam at the doctor's office. They're listening to you. They may ask you to sing something. They want to know uh, where you are, uh, what you're doing, uh, what what it is that you can do. How can they help make you better? They want to know these things, and they're asking you questions. They're listening to your voice. And hi, Miss Lee, Lily. I want you to be able to hear what they're saying. Go into a lesson. When you're paying $100 an hour for a lesson, don't come in there with no paper. You got to have paper. You Use your telephone, record something. At $100, you better take that lesson with you, practice with that lesson for the rest of the week. I have one uh, set of clients. I work with them for an hour and a half, and that's still not enough. And they're young, 8 and 12. I think they're 8 and 12 or 8 and 11 out of Texas. By the way, I do voice lessons all over the world. I have Australian voice students. Uh, um, I have some Asian voice students over in, in China. So we have different lessons and, and I'm up all times of day and night um, trying to be able to help as best as I can. Um, but listen, if you want to have a lesson, um, we can do that. You want your one on one lessons? Send me an inbox me. Send me a message. That's what I'm here for. I want to help you get where you want to be so you can be an effective um, uh, um, master at what you're accomplishing. Okay? If you're talking and you're doing a lot of, uh, of teaching and you ever heard people constantly go on horse? Let me ask you this. Name, if you have heard, because I've never heard of it. Name a baby newborn baby when they come into this world they are screaming and crying <laughs> developing vocal vocal cords immediately because that's the first time they open their mouth you don't have them in there hollering inside your womb they quiet they quiet they may kick you and beat you up a little bit but they're quiet now, if they not, let me know. By the way, I have never had a kid. I'm telling you from all the folks talking, sit, uh, put some notes down here. Tell me. I would like to know because I have seen over and over again, even with my little niece, as big as she was when she came out, she came out screaming constantly. When a baby is crying, they are developing their vocal cords. Don't quickly shut them up so much. Yes. But you want them to get those vocal cords. And then I have one niece who tries to be quiet now. But yet, if you notice on uh, on Facebook, I've been starting to put little snippets on there. Because now she's starting to show her acting ability. She has realms and realms because no one would listen to her. And we would turn a deaf ear. She thought. She said, ha, 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 ha. I was like, wow. Angel, you are an awesome singer, girl. You got you got some lungs because she thought people weren't listening. Reality is, musically wise, I'm hearing everything she's doing and I'm listening how the voice is developing. OK, so when you're doing that, you watch how you, you use your air, use your air, use your rib cage, your entire rib cage. Fill it up. Ah, when you want more air while your mouth is open, continue the sound. If you have a choir, whatever choir it is, if you want them to sing, I taught many of my children's course. I've had up to 300, no, a thousand. I've had a thousand kids in the children's course. That was in Southwest, that was in Southwest Florida for the big conference. And when you're see, having the kids to sing, they have to open their mouth. They have to articulate their words. Not just children, adults too. Because many times you guys are doing things and you think nobody's watching. So here, I'm going to help you out. You're going to make me a mini video. 
you're going to send it to me in my inbox so I can help you get where you're trying to go. You understand? So when you're at that here, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, another thing. Next thing. All right. I'm hot today. I, I thought I was going to cut off the 30 minutes, but I guess I'm still going. If this is helping y'all, can y'all let me know? Because I see y'all watching, but I don't see nobody saying anything. Is this benefiting anybody? Please let me know. All right. Another thing. When you're trying to get something, you got that lower gut. I, I call it the muffin top for me. So when you got that lower gut, ah, 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 yeah, I hit it immediately. Quick, fast air produces power and it pop your voice out to the other side. Okay. Slow air, lower tones. Hi. Hello, everybody. How you're doing? Ah. All right. You're getting those tones in. You're working it. You're working your mouth and you're being able to use the things. You're using softer air, smaller air. Use the puppy pants I talked about. Ha ha. You want to build up your strength? You want to build up power in that voice? Use it. No sound. Ha, 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 ha. Little sound. Ha, 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 ha. Right sound. Practice it. Practice it. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, That will get you where you want to go in singing and in talking. Okay? So I need you to understand the, comp the, the things that I'm teaching you today. So let's just do a recap of the things we talked about. First, we talked about your breathing. All right. We told you to breathe in through your mouth, filling up your diaphragm. We told you if you have not taken the time to sign up on my YouTube videos, make sure you do. If you if you want to know, I got four. Yes, I do. But if you want to know which one I, I recommend, I think you need to sign up under the one that says Performing Arts Academy of CT. I think I got 1,300 followers at this time. And um, on there, I do gifts, giveaways, and all kinds of things. So if you want to be a part of that and you want to get the techniques and you want to see videos of other people doing some of the work that we're doing now, uh, I, this year is the first year I'm starting some of these master classes uh, because I, I am reopening up other uh, businesses and getting many things established and um, board of directors will be uh, overseeing and taking over um, Arts in Connecticut. And this year is the largest board of directors that we've ever had. So if you want to know what's more and what's happening at Arts and CT, you're going to have to stay tuned. A lot of these things are changing right before our very eyes, okay? Um, I'm, I'm not necessarily stepping completely away from it, but it's being orchestrated by a group of people that have a passion to be able to give back to the community in the arts, all right? And we want to see it grow. We want to see it get bigger and bigger. We need more grants. We need more funding. And we can't do that without the help of people. Another thing I know I meant to tell you all, uh, Arts and CT has moved um, from 60 Foot Reef Street, which was the school. Everybody is out of the building um, now. Uh, this church is taking over the building. They want to do some things with it so they can get the proper zoning and um, things like that. Uh, which was uh, something that was a major issue when we were there. They definitely have to uh, get some things under control. So I totally agree with it. It's their school. I'm not upset. We appreciate all that they've done for us. They've been a phenomenal, phenomenal um, uh, uh, host uh, for Arts and CT. That's where our start and footing was. Uh, we are now transitioning down the street to 35 Matthew Street is where we're going to be having some classes. If you have not heard about um, the crochet class that it, uh, that's formulating um, right after uh, the new board is instituted, um, uh, a lot of the classes will resume back. I am not positive um, if we are going to be able to get summer camp in um, this summer, but I will talk to them about that to see where we are. Okay, so um, just last rehash and then I'm going to let you guys go. I really want to know if this was beneficial for you. Um, I want to make sure you understand your breathing. 
I want to make sure you understand how to project your voice and how to, um, to, to, to be able to do a belt. Projection and belt is all up in the same realm and area. I also want to make sure you understand how to take a breath while you are talking. You can't stop and go, and then there's that. No, that looks crazy. You can't do that. All right. So I need to make sure you understand how that works so you can work your voice. Okay. Another thing, I want you to understand how to use your articulators. You have to articulate your words so people can understand what you're talking about. Be mindful of what you're saying. Be Think about what you're saying and then be able to do it. We're going to do tongue twisters the next time I come on here. And those tongue twisters will help you to get yourself to be able to speak faster and to, to be to, for your sound to be understood and people can be able to read your lips. If you were to turn me down, can you read my lips? Can you understand what I'm saying? So I really want you to be uh, to think about how all of this will come into play and how it will benefit you. Okay? Are there any questions? Nobody have any questions? Make sure you share this video. All right, share the video. I will try to come on. I can't guarantee them. I will send you a message and I'm going to notify you a week in advance um, when I come on again so I can be able to uh, give you an online voice lesson again. I am Barbara Alexander with Arts in Connecticut. This has been the free masterclass voice lesson and we will do one free master live lesson in Connecticut and then we will do one right here in New York City um, and I will be setting that up thank you so much Miss Fallon so I'll be setting that up and I will let you know and I will notify you uh, early in advance of the free master class here in New York City I just need to go across the street to um, find out what the availability is of the hall so we can be able to help you okay thank you so much this has been a master class for you please like our video and share thank you bye